Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Scarge channel. Today, we're gonna take you through one of my leg workouts that I've been doing recently. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy. Today, uh, I wanted to go over with you my what I've been doing for my program lately in this kind of series where I train to dunk. Oh, I don't know what this guy's doing, what the hell? Did I mess up? Did you mess up? You're just sitting there? Oh my gosh, okay. Well, anyways. Yeah, so this kind of series where I'm training to dunk, trying to get good at dunking anyways, because right now I can usually throw a couple down per, per dunk session, so hopefully today will be no different. But yeah, so what I've been trying out recently is these two-a-days. And so basically what that is, if you don't know, is you work out twice in a day, right? Two a day. But the morning workout is focused on, you know, the jumping, the running, plyometric movements, um, sometimes even general joint and like care for, so like what I mean by that is like the quad extensions to help, you know, prevent a little bit of knee pain or like tibialis raises for the front of your calves help with the knee pain because what I'm noticing from these two days is my recovery has to be on point kind of so <clears throat> the first couple two days I was doing I'm you know recovering like normal doing my red light before bed and that's about it and I was getting fairly decent knee pain so the past few past week or so I would say I've been trying to you know do the massage gun every day do the, uh, the hot tub after after leg days um, just doing extra stuff here and there doing some cupping so doing extra stuff to make sure I get the recovery in. and I mean at the end of the day two days probably are the way to go but you're just gonna have to be more serious about taking care of yourself after I've also been doing um, I found that doing the electrolyte little packets they have the night before a leg day so after your upper day before bed just chug a electrolyte you know 14 ounces of water with the electrolyte packet in and you know so you're hydrated for the next day um, for when you're jumping so the jumping doesn't you know impact your hurt your knees as much but, uh, so I've been trying that out lately and it feels pretty good. I can get through my jumping workout with basically no knee pain. And then uh, weights later in the day. Sometimes there's still a struggle, but I don't know, we'll see. We'll see with time if I can keep this up or not. But yeah. So anyways, we're going to this gym and What's really nice about it is they have this, you're gonna see, but they have this hill that you can do sprints on. And it's probably about, uh, probably about 30 yards or so, 25, 30 yards of just uphill turf you can run up. So it's been super nice to be able to utilize that because where I live right now, it's uh, winter, so I don't really like, to, you know, going to a park and getting my sprints in it's it's just not as fun honestly and then this place also has a basketball court so I mean wooden easier on your knees so you know I'm trying to maximize you know every angle I can right if you're running say you're running on um, concrete like you're just doing along the road or something asphalt over time, I mean, I don't know, even if you're like 16, that's gonna, it's gonna wear on you. Like, I remember when I was like 16, playing basketball every day, and, you know, I, was, I wasn't really, you know, feeling the negative side effects of doing max effort jumps every single day when I was playing basketball. Because, you know, after you try to, you know, you're 16, you're a sophomore in high school, you're gonna try to dunk after you after you play around the basketball, so. But over
over time that's beating down on your cartilage and your joints and then hate to say it but it probably maybe will catch up to you I don't know so that's why you just gotta if you can you know be conscientious of what what you're doing right like if you're gonna be doing max effort sprints on concrete and you have the ability to go to a track or do it on turf or do it on a grass field or something maybe maybe you want to do that I don't know but uh, yeah but anyways guys for this workout today we're going to do hill sprints I like doing the hill sprints basically as a warm-up so I'll do you know three to six of them before I start my jumping and I'll time them too so I want to you know goal setting is another or not goal setting but well goal setting is good but tracking your progress is a good way to make sure you're getting results over time because it kind of just forces your brain to say okay you know we got to get better we're doing this every three days a week you know we got to get better at it <clears throat> so we'll do the sprints and then we'll go to the court hopefully if there's no one on it there's like there's two full-size courts at this gym so i've never had an issue getting on it's sunday in the morning so i don't know we'll see i guess but uh then we'll do a jump sesh i got my small ball with me and then i have a i have a flat basketball okay so i'm cheating a little bit when i'm when i'm counting these these dunks with the flat ball as real dunks but it's okay and then uh, after that we'll probably do some like ankle slash like Achilles like little lateral bounds I forgot my ladder actually darn but we'll do that with like a little six inch plyometric box just to get the uh, make sure the ankles are strong because that's another thing I've been neglecting I've been trying to focus on weak points basically uh, or potential like sources of injury with the knees so I mean you're gonna want strong ankles when you're jumping so that's one thing and then the tibia is another and then the quad extensions have been so those three things basically I've been trying to bring up a little bit so I uh, don't have to suffer from knee pain from jumping so much <clears throat> yeah so after those we'll finish off probably with quad extensions and then we'll go home eat and uh, lift weights tonight. So, hope you guys enjoy the workout.
Whew. All right, so not a bad workout. Um, in that last clip, well, second to last clip, when I tried to go up with my blue basketball, I did feel a little bit of knee pain, so I figured I should just stop it there and uh, move on to the you know, the easier stuff. So uh, I got a little bit of bike after, probably did about three-ish minutes, three to five minutes of biking. And I already, you know, my knees feel a little bit better. I have a little bit of a quad pump. So I think I'm gonna just eat, hydrate, maybe go to the hot tub and uh, basically try to get as full as possible before the lower lift. So hope you guys enjoyed the first half of the workout. See you in a bit. All right, guys, the time is 4 p.m. Uh, I finished my other workout around noon, so I allowed myself to sit around for four hours without doing anything, you know, eating, drinking, watching YouTube and whatnot. But uh, it's time to get back to it. So I'm gonna get these quads and knees warmed up with a little bit of bike and uh, we'll start off with some, hopefully, some pretty heavy squats. So see you in a little bit. of the day 315 with the bands um, that's this is just about the point where the knee pain is manageable so I'll probably just stick with this weight do sets of two at an RP about eight so I don't have to explode my knees and you know take another week to to heal because this is my first week back from uh, doing any real squats or anything like that so Pretty happy with it, 315 for sets of two. We'll take it, so uh, let's do about three more sets. on just squatting, keeping my back relatively upright, but squatting, leading with my butt, going straight back so my knees aren't really going over my toes too much because, I mean, I'm already wearing squat shoes as it is. I don't want to put too much pressure on my knees, so that's what I'm focusing on right now. I'm trying to feel it in the hamstrings as much as possible, even though I'm doing a lot of things that would make it feel in the quads. So, yeah. Another thing I just wanted to mention is that you'll notice, I don't know if a lot of people do this, but I do this all the time. I'll kind of shake out my legs and crack my knees before I squat. And for me, it just helps get everything, everything get into place. Helps me set up perfectly for a squat. So if you're ever feeling funky for a set, just shake it out a little bit and see if it helps. Probably will. Let's go!
If you can do more, it's good to do more, so. All right guys, so we're doing some rear foot elevated split squats. I'm gonna probably do three sets of two. I already did one set at 275, so I'm just gonna do two more of those. This exercise, honestly, if you ask me, is it's, it's king for like power and uh, for jumping especially, for power for jumping. I don't know what you're gonna get better than it because you're you're hitting a decent depth, right? With trap bar, all of you guys know I do like trap bar jumps, things like that. Those are great too. Those are really good for peak power, but your knees are barely bending. So this one, you can go, you know, reasonably heavy with one leg, even heavier on a Smith machine, and you're not worried about balance and all that. But um, you're getting that range of motion it's a little bit more specific to jumping. It's not, you know, a squat, but it's it's a little bit deeper than you get for a trap bar jump. So that's why I love doing them so much. And honestly, can't exactly do a trap bar jump in this in this apartment gym, especially on the second floor. So uh, don't wanna, you know, have all these complaints coming in. some calf raises. I had a uh, viewer comment the other day that I could gain a few inches from doing calf raises to my vertical, so I'm gonna have to give them a shot. But uh, realistically, I haven't been training calves that much, so I am in fact going to be trying to incorporate them at the end of the workout. So I don't know how heavy I'll get with them, but if I hit them, I'll still feel pretty good about myself. So we'll do about Three or four sets of, honestly, probably to failure. Just feel a burn in them. So, anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the the video. Let me know if you like the format where I'm kind of talking while I'm working out, literally right now. But, anyways, guys, have a good rest of your Sunday. I'll see you next time. Peace. Yeah.